Okay, guys, it's really coming together a lot better. It's a lot better than it was before. A lot more stronger. That's going to be. And of course, thanks to these uh, bolts that uh, one of my subscribers sent me. I'm, I'm bolting these in with these extra strong bolts here, so that won't pull loose again. So that's that's solid there. Thanks again for those. I appreciate it. Well guys, that's that. Them two rolls did not go very far. But uh, this stuff, it went on good. I got a little bit of a seam right here. Now I'm gonna put this on the bottom part here. I'm gonna continue this all the way down. I, had, I ended up right here, this is where I ran out. I'm gonna continue that all the way down to the other end. And then I'm gonna go another one on top of this, overlapping the top of this onto this one to um, make a good seal right there. I got that seam right there, pretty good. And the top of that skylight there is pretty well sealed on this side and across the top. And on the other side here, I got this far, about to there. I was able to cover the whole thing, but I'm gonna overlap it on, again on this side right here and feel that. I should have put the bottom on like I did on the other side and then put this part on top. But, uh, that's not much. I might just go over top of it again and do it again. This is a good seal right here. Down to the side. I got to seal it all the way down to that side there. Go all the way across here. Got to go all the way across the front here. And around there. Those hip joints there. I got to get those. And across the top of the skylight I got to get. That stuff doesn't go very far. I forgot how much I paid for this stuff. I just grabbed it up. And whatever. But it should be good stuff. It's sticking really good to the wood. You know... And it's holding pretty good and it seems pretty tough. It's pretty strong stuff. So it'll take some abuse, you know, going through um, branches weathered against it and uh, harsh weather, maybe even hail. It'll survive that, you know, pretty good. So we're going to see how this works or whatever. But uh, I'm going to have to get another couple of rolls. Uh, it's probably going to take me about four, maybe five more rolls to finish this, I'm thinking. You know, so I have to get some more. That's all there is to it. Of course, I gotta cut these nails off or these screws that are come up through the top here. I screwed that in to reinforce it. Gotta get those cut off and uh, do some more work there. And uh, I'm probably gonna put a roof vent uh, fan in here, or uh, or maybe not. Maybe I won't just I won't do that. Maybe I just uh, just use the air conditioner. You know, but uh, we'll see. But uh. I didn't get much accomplished today, but I'm, I'm satisfied with what I got done, and um, this is gonna work. I'm glad I didn't rush it. I'm taking my time, doing this little bit by little bit, as my money, you know, works out, and as my time works out, you know, and uh, making sure this is sealed up good. This is gonna help with the heat too. I'm pretty sure cold is nice and warm inside there. Can't see inside from here, but he's in there. He's pretty comfortable. But uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and clean up and uh, get out of here. It's a lot easier to move around in here now that I've cleaned up a little bit. I took a bunch of stuff out of here and took it, to the, took it home. And um, I plan on uh, being out of here by the end of this month. So I got to get this done. Uh, my plan is to go ahead on and finish doing this. Uh, my foot is stuck in this ladder. It's really tight over here. Okay. See how tight this is. Climb up and down this ladder to get up in there to do the work. But uh, yeah, so uh, I'm gonna finish sealing those seams all the way around and then I'm gonna paint it with that uh, paint I got there. 
and then I'm gonna get some uh, some gray paint and paint it with gray paint and make it match the truck. And uh, once I do that, I may go to the uh, the Rhino liner place and have them do one of those spray bed liners over the whole thing. That's probably gonna be expensive, but uh, that'll be a guaranteed sealer to make sure it don't uh, you know, water penetration don't get in there and it'll be a tough outer layer or whatever and it'll look a lot better. And then I'll paint that gray. See how that works, whatever. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I'm not sure about if that's gonna happen or not. But we'll see. But uh, anyway, that's it for the day. I'm gonna get cold out of here. And we're gonna go home, it's starting to get dark. And uh, thanks for watching. Yeah, he heard me call his name. Let me see what my little buddy's doing. He's been in there for a while. Ooh, I can feel the heat. Oh, it's nice and warm in there. You comfortable, buddy? Huh? Come on. Oh, that ain't that far a jump. Come on down. Good boy. So, yeah, I'm going to clean up and get out of here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. This is the stuff I'll be using. Waterproof patch and seal tape from Gorilla Glue. So I got two rolls. I'm gonna see how far that'll take me and we'll see what I can get done.